When I hear the word catalyst, I think of a, a true force of nature, someone or something that creates a positive change, something, something that couldn't happen without that person. Catalyst is one of my favorite words. It means change, and to me it means something daring. A catalyst brings a bunch of different elements together and uh, creates something that is, is more than the addition of just all the parts. If there's not some catalyst, some seed, some kernel that's injected into a process, nothing happens. Well, I think of an agent of change, something that you introduce into a situation and it brings it to life. Uh, sort of the, the baking soda in your biscuits or something like that. Uh, change, uh, but more specifically the impetus to change or sparking the creativity that compels us to change. Someone who sees that there's a need but also sees the possibilities and acts. Nonprofits really have the opportunity and the responsibility to do what can't be done by government or the private sector and, and really address the needs of the population. We make connections and we share experiences and look towards the future. Nonprofit organizations really occupy a special place in our community. They're comprised mostly of individuals, particularly volunteer leaders, who give of their time and energies to make sure that the needs of our communities are met. Nonprofits do, do, do two things. Uh, uh, the, the, the first is they're a crucible for innovation and, and with the problems and the opportunities that the, the private sector may not value or the, or the public sector may not have the capacity or the courage to deal with. Uh, the second thing they do is they provide a way for individual donors to, to make an investment in solving problems or creating opportunities that, that, that other parts of the economy may not uh, care about yet. Nonprofits force us to recognize that within the current system, people are falling through the cracks. And so the system must be changed. And nonprofits enable us to create communities where we can fulfill our duty to take care of the most vulnerable among us. So what Maddie does, and I think this is unique, is she sees the benefit of a whole variety of organizations to the whole community. And if it connects with her and clicks with her, she says, how can I help make this happen? And, and I find that very innovating, energizing, I should say, um, and exciting. And we're very lucky to have her in this community as a, as a visionary and as a, a doer. Maddie is somebody who's all about what's possible, all about who, who the people and helping people vision and also being honest and authentic. I mean, she tells you what she thinks right away. And that's, your, that's helpful. You know you've got real feedback. Maddie's a great, great example of somebody who got involved with our organization at a very early stage when we were just in the dream stage, when we really didn't know how far it was going to go, and she's continued to support it. And now, we're, you know, 27 years later, we're a very healthy organization. It's from people like her who believed in us, but also who have stayed with us that have made all the difference. One person who helped us do something big that then had ripple effects throughout uh, Midcoast and Southern Maine. A really, you know, a, a great example of one catalyst creating a huge uh, beneficial impact. Maddie has known ripple effect since our inception. And I think she's seen in us some of what we can bring to the community and identified that and been patient and nurturing in bringing us along as we've grown as an organization. And I know she's done that for so many other organizations, tying us all together and really making Portland a more humane and creative place. So we're really fortunate. And I hope she knows that. We know it. First 10 years, we've moved five times. So there was a lot of change. And so being able to have a, a permanent place for our families, and that was specifically uh, set up for our families, was just, you know, a great gift to us, and we are forever grateful to Maddie for doing that. And when Maddie is an, at an event, she will move from table to table, and she speaks to the people she knows, and re, um, acquaints herself with those that she hasn't seen in a long time, and then she introduces herself to people she doesn't know. She also will 
introduce people who may not know each other, but she thinks they ought to know each other. Um, so she's always pull, putting together relationships um, and doing that kind of thing for, for people in the community. And it, it's really pretty awesome to watch her do it. Nobody does it like Maddie. I guess the, the bottom line is that Maddie's a woman who could do anything she wanted with her time, and yet she chooses to invest it in organizations like mine. She's always been just a, a really wonderful example to me of how with a very simple strategy you can provide a tremendous amount of support to organizations. She brings the best out in all of us and she's always there to help us grow and wanting us to be more successful. She sees the world as a, a changing place and, and unlike a a chemical reaction like I think a person who's a catalyst or a philanthropist like Maddie is they have to have a vision um, and they have to believe you know um, in the goodness of human beings and I and I see that as 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 Maddie having both those things she sees that she sees things that sometimes people other people don't see and she believes um, that that we can make a difference. Maddie's been a quiet source of inspiration and support usually around the betterment of a, of a child and more specifically really individuals because she is one who knows that investing in that child is an investment in a shared community and we thank her for all that she has done and continues to do with children, the arts and the places we live. Maddie has done her homework. She firmly believes and the nonprofits that she's supporting. She gets actively involved. She attracts other people, volunteers, other donors to that cause. She is very mindful of the importance of what she's doing. She has been that person that has really taken the time and the caring to involve herself, um, both her time um, and her resources, with any number of nonprofits. Uh, in this community, uh, especially with children. Maddie has always meant creativity. She sees things that don't always get seen together and she brings them together with herself as the catalyst, both in her thinking and in her commitment. To me, Maddie has been one of the most powerful, impactful people in the state of Maine in my lifetime. Maddie Corson's support of Sail Maine over the years has resulted in dozens of kids that wouldn't have had a chance to go sailing to experience what it means to live in a coastal community and to experience the ocean firsthand. Maddie's support to us, both spiritual and financial, has made a big difference at really important intersections of our history. Maddie is a tireless, um, exciting, inventive, creative, curious, vibrant, human being who responds to community need. To me, Maddie Corson is the epitome of a change agent. She accelerates action. She speeds things up. She causes things to happen. We are very grateful for Maddie's support over the years and uh, you know, from all of us at Junior Achievement and especially the, uh, the young people whose hearts we've touched and uh, minds we've inspired, we are very grateful for Maddie's support. I really can't think of an aspect of the work that we do that hasn't benefited from her energy and the momentum that she's provided to us. She has an amazing ability to communicate an unfailing enthusiasm and confidence in our organization and in our mission. Maddie Corson, I think, is the great connector in the state of Maine. Uh, I, can't, I can't think of a nonprofit in Maine that hasn't, hasn't benefited by uh, the work and the spirit and the heart that, that Maddie brings to the state. I, I would call Maddie uh, an angel, <laughs> and in that sense uh, is a catalyst. Uh, because what she does is um, she just has this big heart. She's a very special person, and I think uh, Portland is very fortunate to have her here. Maddie Corson, to me, is the epitome of someone who loves their community, who has, um, she happens to have very deep roots, but she brings her personal qualities to uh, the work she's done in support of nonprofit organizations. You know, her touch 
her touch is so exquisite in terms of how she deals with people, her sense of humor. Um, there are just so many personal qualities that are transparent in her that are just wonderfully positive qualities. And it's a joy to work with her. It's so much fun. <laughs>